Hey, what's up everybody? It's Never Precious here and welcome to today's podcast series. Without wasting much time, let's get started. Today we're going to be exploring Maya's X-Gen grooming tool. So I've been using Maya for a while now, but actually this was my first time exploring the Maya's X-Gen hair and grooming tool. For those of you who have seen my previous video, the episode where I reviewed my portfolio, then you're probably aware that I'm working on an independent short film. So that being said, I needed to create the hair and the grooming for a character, the lead character in my short Conflictus, which you can actually check on Instagram at Conflictus underscore the battle, and also support the project by simply hitting the follow button. I would really appreciate that. So after a couple of experimentation, trials and errors, Laying Xgen on the job and exploring, here are some vital tips I picked up for you guys. So you can also create your own hair and grooming in Maya using the Xgen feature. First of all, start off by importing your base geometry. That is where you want the hair to be applied onto. In my case, obviously, that would be the head model. First tip off for anyone attempting to create hair in Maya is to first of all have a base sculpt or model of the particular hairstyle you are going for, already modeled or sculpted down. This really helps in the creation and placement of your guide. So it's really helpful to model your hairstyle or have a digital sculptor sculpt the kind of hair you want before proceeding to create X-Gen realistic hair strands using Maya. So import both your base model and your hair sculpt together into Maya. Having done that, I then go on to highlighting and selecting the faces of the hair where I want my hair to be. This really saves me a great deal of CPU and GPU power because honestly, the XGN feature in Maya can be really taxing for your hardware. Depending on your system configuration, it's a good rule of thumb to do so. The next step will be to start creating your guide. These guides will serve as a reference for generating Maya's XGN hair. And a very important keynote is that the shape and direction of your guide will eventually influence the shape and direction of your hair. So you have to be intentional about this process. So how do we create this guide? Well, using Maya's the fourth curve tool or the paint effect tool, we will most preferably be using the paint effect brush tool. Using the sculpted hairstyle as a base reference, grab the paint effect tool in the shelf menu in Maya, make your hairstyle paintable and start painting your guide using the Maya's paint effect tool. This will probably be the most difficult or interesting stage you have to go through, but believe me, it's worth handling your curve with some intention. Because like I said earlier, XGen will generate your hair using your curve as a guide. By default, Maya's paint effect stroke I recognize as calls, so you have to click on all your strokes and manually convert them to calls. Having done that, proceed to cleaning up your calls and modifying the curves point using the rebuild curve option to achieve a cleaner looking curve. Click on your base model where you want XGen to be applied on. Load XGen generator. A menu appears, choose the kind of hair primitive you want, either splines or groomable splines. Choose the kind of hair primitive you want, splines are best for long hairs and vines, while groomable splines are best for short hair. And also choose how you want your hair to be controlled, 
by placing and shaping guides particularly for working with spline and create locate the utility tab in the XGN menu and click on course to guide select all your calls and click on add guide and viola XGen creates its hair primitive using your curve as guide. But we're not done yet, far from that. Then comes the fun part of tweaking the modifiers, creating region maps to control where the hair falls and where it shouldn't. Creating clump modifiers, adjusting the length, displacement and taper. A whole lot of this process is usually achieved with experimentation as results can vary from hairstyle to hairstyle. In my case, well, after a couple of hours of experimentation and fails of course, I was able to achieve a decent satisfying result that matches my original concept art. And the modifiers I used were the clumping, the coil and noise modifiers primarily and adjusting their values with expressions. Well, I'll be looking forward to seeing what you create or can come up with using Maya's X-Gen hair and grooming tool. Also, if you do have any question, request or suggestion concerning Maya's X-Gen tool, kindly let me know down there in the comment section. That's it for today's podcast. Thanks for tuning in as always. I hope you picked up a tip or two. If so, kindly drop me a like. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to share with your friend. Because you know, sharing is caring. Once again, it's never precious. Signing out.